Okay, so this originally was a project that I was gonna work on in one day. It's to make a motorized Lazy Susan for product photography. How it works is you put your product on top of a spinning disc and it spins, it just makes the product look more glamorous. Originally, I went over to um, Attleboro to go to Hobby Lobby to try to find a motor and it was impossible. Then I tried Home Depot, also another failure. So I just went home and I ended up ordering it off of Amazon. It was pretty annoying, but here we are today. I'm gonna open up these packages and make sure everything's in here so I didn't just do this whole setup for nothing. I got a regular hacksaw because I don't think it's smart to use the sawzall to make these cuts. I've got a file, which I'm thinking I may need. This right here should be a rotisserie motor. And it is. What I wanna do is use it to power the spinning disc that uh, will function as my product photography stand. This is the rod. Perfect fit. It's always great when stuff works like that. So previously, I made a shelf um, for my room. I ordered it off of Amazon, I put it together, and it had some extra layers that I didn't really need. So I can use this so that it'll rotate. And you're gonna see me do all that today. First thing I have to do is take apart this motor though. So I'm gonna take this screwdriver and take out the screws. First, I have to make space on this block for the uh, motor guard or whatever this thing is to sit. So I'm gonna make some measurements and then I'm gonna use the drill and I'm going to make this sit on top. It's gonna be pretty crude. I have a couple of pieces of wood to work with, so I'm not too worried about uh, making a mistake on this one. I don't know how well it'll show up, but these are the markings here. I'm gonna drill some holes, and hopefully I have the right size bit for it. It doesn't have to be perfect since it's going through wood. I can make it just get pretty close. And I never was aiming for perfect anyways. It just needs to work. So I'm gonna use this big old drill bit to drill the center hole where the square peg goes through. This is the best tape that is available to anyone. This is gaffer's tape. It's fucking awesome. I can replace these materials later if I feel the need to but I think this will accomplish what I needed to do. First, I'm just gonna get the screws part of the way through the wood so that this plate stays in place. Strip the fuck out of this screw. But now is the moment of truth. We see if it all sticks together. There's one. Fuck. Okay, that was fucking brutal. Now we have the first part done. The second, this plate is now gonna sit on top of this and it's gonna get mounted on top of this. So this is gonna be what spins. Just, I'm just gonna saw through this piece. This is gonna take me forever. This is just the rotisserie rod that is gonna go through the first plate and up into the second one. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna end it here today. Um, I got the square peg inside of a round hole, which they say can't be done, but I did it. The rotisserie rod is locked into this block, and then I have this right here. My motor is mounted to this block of wood. This slots to here, and uh, then we turn it on. So let's get a fit in here. There we go, and it's locked in. 
it's pretty level. I'm gonna have to glue it and I'm gonna have to make a stand so it's not, because this is how it sits. But for now, I'm gonna show you how it works. Well, all I gotta do is hit this switch on the back here and bam, we have rotation, friends. We have fucking rotation. Isn't that great? There we go, look at that, it's rotating. Wasn't that worth all the work? Beautiful. Hey, I'm back because I couldn't help myself. I had to tune up my rotating plate just a little bit. I know this video is too long for what it is, but I know the glamour shots that I just got with the rotating plate are worth the extra minute that it's gonna take to watch the rest of this video. Real quick, these are the changes that I made. I added legs to the base using free sample shingles and then glued and screwed them to the base plate and added screws through uh, two at a time to make up the legs. You'll see that in the B-roll. Then I grinded down the rotisserie rod to try to make it as flat as possible so that it sat flush with the top spinning plate so that it didn't sit crooked as it spun. Then I secured that rotisserie rod to the rotating plate with rubber cement followed by a shit ton of Gorilla Glue which I used on the entire thing just to make sure that it was held together even though it was pretty stable to begin with. I then grinded a hole under the top of the shingles to make a neat little hole for the power cable to slide through. With that being said, here are the glimmer shots that I got with my new contraption and I'll see you next time.